welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is Tuesday and it is the first day of Royal Ascot today and I thought to celebrate the occasion I would share with you seven dresses or seven outfits to wear to the races. Of course these outfits can be worn for loads of different summer events. If you're going to Ascot or not, or Ascot as it's meant to be called, um, whether you're going to Royal Ascot or if you're going to any races, I know there's so many races up and down the country, things like Wimbledon, any birthday parties, some of these could be appropriate for weddings, just basically any summer event that requires you to be a little bit more dressed up. If you have been to my channel before, you will know that I love getting dressed up, so it was really fun choosing seven dresses to share with you guys. So I'm also going to be sharing with you a few accessories that I've paired with them. Price point wise, these go from around £45 for dresses all the way up to nearly the £200 mark, so hopefully there's some for a few different budgets and some that are quite affordable as well. I'm also going to be sharing with you a few tips on how to wear them as well as whether the particular dresses adhere to the rules for the royal enclosure because as you may know at Royal Ascot there are some very strict dress code rules for going into the royal enclosure so I'll also let you know whether these dresses are appropriate for that or not. So without further ado let's get started. Okay, so this is the first dress and probably my favourite. First of all though, I have to apologise for the quality of this video. I didn't notice this until I started editing. I think the heat has got to my camera. Um, but anyway, this dress I just absolutely adore. I have been wearing it so much recently just as a day dress and I'm planning on wearing it to some lovely events. It's just beautiful broderie anglaise style with pockets, hallelujah, a beautiful uh, bow on the waist and the fit is just absolutely stunning. I really love this square neckline as well. It's very chic and yeah, love it, love it, love it. Great investment piece. This one is a little bit more classic, elegant and ladylike. It's a beautiful blush pink color. I just love the lace detail on the sleeves. It's a very elegant length as well. Perfect for the royal enclosure at Ascot because it's got more than two inches on the shoulders, which is what you need and a very elegant length too. I have paired this with a lovely blush pink bag, keeping the colour palette really neutral and simple. And then you can also add maybe an embellished jacket like I have done here. This dress also, I have to tell you, is only £45, so a really good bargain. And yeah, it just looks so lovely with some embellished accessories like these ones. This next dress is a real statement piece. This wouldn't work for the royal enclosure because of the very thin spaghetti strap, but lengthwise, again, really beautiful. Can we take a moment to appreciate these shoes? They are limited edition to my Teresa, Jimmy Choo's. Absolutely love them. But the asymmetric neckline on this is what I absolutely adore. This is the moment that I realized I was actually wearing it wrong and you should actually put your arm through the frill like this. So this is how you're meant to wear it. But yeah, I absolutely love this giant frill detail along the neckline of this dress. And I think it's so timeless with this beautiful white material. Another classic style, this is a beautiful pink and white lace. I've paired it with these shoes which I've been wearing so much recently, I think they're around £45. Great because they've got such a thick heel so they won't get stuck in any grass or mud. Beautiful uh, little pink handbag, fits all the essentials. Here's a close up of the lace, it's just so beautiful and very, very feminine. This is probably one of my favourites, definitely do not wear this to any weddings, but if you're going to uh, maybe any birthday parties, summer barbecues, this is gorgeous. I would say to size up with this, I got a size 6 and it's a little bit on the tight side. I just love all this tool netting, it's just so floaty, perfect for summer days and just look at all that detail. Nice and affordable as well, under the £100 mark. This one is a real statement piece. This will be a great one for weddings or again any summer garden parties, great for the races, uh, great for Wimbledon, things like that. I love the colour as well, beautiful fresh lemon sorbet shade. And I've dressed it up a little bit with my Valentino bag. This one again under £100, links to everything as always down in the description box. What shoes did I wear? I think I wore the same River Iron ones um, with this. This one's a little bit more casual, um, it's got this beautiful ladder detail going down the middle and on the waistline. This one could definitely be worn more as a day dress and it's got some beautiful embroidery detail. I made it even more casual with some mule shoes but you could also maybe put on some stilettos or wedges to dress it up. And I've added an embellished clutch bag which will also be linked down below along with everything else. 
So it's backless, which I really like. It keeps you nice and cool on summer days. And then, wow, this one is a pattern explosion. This one is available on the high street with these Manolo dupes, which were about 45 pounds, I think. Love the detail on this dress, really lovely length. Would work for the royal enclosure as well. And I put it with a fascinator just to make it even more appropriate for the races. So here are some clips of me being really silly while we're filming because I think the heat definitely got to my brain. Um, but thank you for watching. Let me know which is your favorite in the comments section below and I'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Oh God, I am such a doorknob. <laughs> Bye.